it draws my admiration that this was allegedly sent back to the individual or the entity that offered it with an explanation as to why the individual or entity that received it could not accept it. Quoting extensively the, the act or the law which, su which suggests that this thing ought not to happen. Dr. Damian Graves, a professor at the St. George's University, is speaking against the backdrop of an alleged receipt and non-acceptance of gifts in the month of December and a large sum of cash from a purported foreign organization to a major organization in Grenada. Dr. Graves added that if it so happens that gifts are accepted, there is what is called integrity in public life, where a declaration must be made before the Integrity Commission. The professor notes, though, that some gifts can be genuine and can be offered as a token of appreciation for a deed or assistance rendered. However, as an individual in public life, one must be guided by the Integrity in Public Life Act. In the Integrity in Public Life, we understand that those issues can, in fact, be deemed by the public as questionable. And it could be deemed as taking advantage of your position for your own or for your personal gain. That's why there's a, the Integrity in Public Life Act. I know in St. Lucia, I know in Grenada, in many of the countries, politicians, heads of organizations, heads of institutions, middle managers, and so on, have to make a declaration of the gifts that you will, you have received. With corruption being one of the main hindrances of development, Dr. Greaves says that too warrants a close eye. It's a prescription for underdevelopment. It's a prescription for, for financial, personal gain for individuals, which we obviously have to stamp out. So when we look at the confluence of all of these events, in terms of COVID-19 and climate change and all what is happening around us, we have to talk about, we have to also talk about corruption as part of the difficulty that we need to stand by. Corruption in various entities, corruption among politicians, corruption from heads of state, these things also have to be, have to be dealt with. According to the Integrity in Public Life Act, all public officials in accordance with the Prevention of Corruption and the Integrity of Public Life Acts shall not accept gifts of gratification. If gifts or gratification are accepted, the officer is required to disclose that gift to the commission who determines whether the gift is a personal gift or a state gift. Christina John, GBN News.